With a length of over 82 kilometers, the Panama Canal is the longest artificial waterway in the world. The architectural masterpiece is not for nothing one of the seven wonders of the modern world. But the canal was built by the United States and was even officially US state property until 1999. To this day, the United States exerts great influence over the canal and all of Panama, which of course does not please the great competing power China at all. Nevertheless, it came as a great surprise when the Chinese government announced that it wanted to tackle a mega project that had previously seemed impossible. A competing project to the Panama Canal, the Nicaragua Canal, a construction project that would put all of Chinese previous mega projects in the shade. But what exactly is the canal about? How does Panama react to it? And why has the project failed so far? We take a look at all of these questions in today's video. Enjoy! Already since the discovery of Nicaragua by the Spaniards, the possibility of building a canal from the Pacific to the Atlantic was mentioned. The reason is mainly due to Nicaragua's geography. As we can see on the map, there are several inland lakes in the Central American country. The so-called Lake Nicaragua stands out especially, and this could drastically shorten the route and some well-located rivers could also serve as the basis for a canal. Nevertheless, we should not be deceived. The Panama Canal was an incredible difficult undertaking that is still considered an architectural feat today, with tens of thousands of workers losing their lives. And this one has a total length of 82 kilometers. The Nicaragua Canal, however, would have an incredible length of over 278 kilometers. So here we can see the incredible dimensions of this project. So it is not surprising that the Spanish architects quickly rejected the idea for a canal, even if it was officially justified with a religious context. The Spanish king Philip II, for example, described the land bridge between the two seas as God's creation, which it was not man's place to improve. US businessmen, however, were rather uninterested in the God-givenness of the land bridge and starting in the 19th century conducted the first feasibility studies for the construction of such a canal. The main reason for this was the gold rush that was beginning on the US west coast at the time. And they were looking for an easy way to transport the gold by ship to the American centers on the east coast. It also quickly became clear that the US would not tolerate a say in the matter from the local government as it deployed several gunboats on both coasts of Nicaragua. Thus, a very US favoring treaty was wrested from the government. But the actual implementation failed. This time, too, feasibility seemed virtually impossible. And in the meantime, the US Americans saw a possibility to help Panama, which belonged to Colombia at that time, to become independent. And they wanted to build a canal there, which seemed to be much easier. Thus, in 1914, the Panama Canal was finally built, which would subsequently have the sole monopoly for shipping between the Pacific and the Atlantic. It was not until the early 2000s that its monopoly would actually be challenged. At some point, the gigantic cargo ships became too large for the Panama Canal, making passage impossible. In addition, a rival power to the US had risen in the meantime, which now saw an opportunity to replace the American-dominated canal. And so it happened that China brought the plans for the Nicaragua Canal back on the table. After negotiations with the Nicaraguan government, a Chinese company led by billionaire Wang Ying was finally awarded the contract, and construction was scheduled to begin as early as 2014. The project, called El Gran Canal, was to be completed within just 5 years and cost nearly 40 billion US dollars. The Chinese investment group was to receive the right to operate the canal for 100 years. Nicaragua was hoping for billions of dollars in revenue, similar to that generated by the Panama Canal. And in addition to independence from the Panama Canal, China also wanted to secure its long-term oil supplies from Venezuela. But everything turned out differently. To this day, construction has not even begun. And in the meantime, no one believes in the prestigious project anymore. But why? In fact, Wang Ying gambled away a large part of his fortune on the stock market, causing the company to become increasingly troubled. In 2018, the company's offices were finally closed, and speculations about the project's ultimate demise became a certainty when Wang Ying was expelled from the Shanghai Stock Exchange in September 2021. Moreover, the government in Panama was not idle as the main source of the government revenue was now in jeopardy. Thus, a widening of the Panama Canal had already been swiftly started. And in 2016, a new third pair of locks was finally inaugurated, which now also allows for the largest cargo ships. And so, the construction of the Nicaragua Canal seems very unlikely in the near future. 
Nevertheless, it is quite possible that China will keep this loophole open for the future and nevertheless tackle the project again at some point. So that was it for the video. If you enjoyed it, I also recommend you to watch my last video. Just click here and see you there.